the quotient property. So remember, guys, the quotient property of exponents says if you have an exponent divided by another exponent with the same base, then you subtract the exponent and keep the same base. Remember, exponential are very, very closely related to our logarithmic. So therefore, if I give you guys a problem, um, how did I write that last one? I did multiple. OK, yeah, so if I give you log base x of m divided by n, following what we did for the product rule, now we're going to be talking about the quotient rule. If I want to rewrite this, Terrell, do you have an idea how I might want to rewrite this using this property? Well, it's it. So when we have the m divided by the n, then for exponents, we subtract them. So not an idea yet. Cody, you want to give it a shot? Log base of x m minus log base of x n. Very good. The main important thing that you guys need to remember is a lot of students don't want to separate it into two different logarithms. You need to make sure that when you're texting, that you have log base x of m minus log base a sub n. You cannot just take this from a division and then say, it's, oh, it's going to be equal to the subtraction. right? Because we know that two numbers divided by each other is not going to be equal to the same two numbers subtracted by each other for all numbers. So right? You're actually like dividing them in bed right now in the subtraction problem? You're not dividing them. It's just saying the log base x of two numbers that divide is equivalent to the, sub the difference of the logs of both of those numbers. It depends. I'm just going to say, there's going to be two different examples. One example, I might say, hey, expand this. And I mean, I'm going to show you how we're going to use this in a second. We are going to expand this stuff. Oh, uh, we are going to use this to self us solve. So let's just say I say log base 5 of 3y. And then maybe I give you another example. And I say condense. And I say log base 3 of um, 7 minus log base 3 of x minus 5. So let's say I give you these two problems. I say, hey, expand this. So you can, can you write this expanded? Yes. Well, this, what they mean is from go to here to here, that means expanding it, right? So how can I rewrite log base 5 of 3 divided by y? You can rewrite that as log base 5 of 3 minus log base 5 of y. Does that make sense? And then this one is if I want to condense it, that means it's already expanded. So can I rewrite this as one logarithm? Yes. When you subtract the two, that means you can rewrite it as a division problem. So therefore, this is log base 3 of 7 over x minus 5. OK? okay? Yes, is Blina. No question? OK. Just wanted to make